Hi, my name is Neil Malik. I'm from NAC Training. And in this video, I'd like to show you guys what's probably the best transition Microsoft has ever given us in PowerPoint. Um, I've always been of the opinion that most of the transitions you see in PowerPoint are kind of childish, uh, not necessarily the transition itself, but really how people use them. But here, we're going to talk about something called Morph. And it's really, really very useful in terms of being able to make something transition over time and to have that seamless feel that something is moving across the screen and going to different states for you. So let me go ahead and show you what I would do with this scenario. Let's say that at first in my presentation, I wanted to talk and just briefly talk about the fact that we wanted to discuss our people, our tools, and the conversations that were happening inside the company. So I'd put these three icons on my screen. But then I wanted to transition from these three icons to three panels that gave a little bit more detail about these different sections. Now what I'll do is this. I'm going to go ahead and put in what those panels will turn into. I'm going to go ahead and put in shapes that will surround the people, the tool, and the conversation. So I'm going to go up to insert at the top of the screen, insert a new shape, and what I'm going to do might not be the first impression for you, I'm going to put in a rounded corner rectangle. Now, if I draw the rounded corner rectangle around this shape here, and sort of place it on top, if I want it to look like the rest of these shapes, what I'll do is I'll click on one of these other shapes, go to the Home tab at the top of the screen, and choose the Format Painter, and now I can click onto that shape that I want to change the look of. But I'm going to go another step further. What I'd like to have happen in my presentation is for this rectangle to actually be an oval at first. So I'm going to pull this little gold dot over and turn it into a perfect circle. And then lastly, I'll go ahead on the Arrange drop-down menu and choose Send Back. And you can see here that we've got it lined up pretty well. And of course, I probably want the same thing for the tools and for the conversation. So I'll just go ahead and use Control D to duplicate that, line it up on top of the wrench, and again, arrange, send back, and then duplicate, arrange, send back, and just make sure that everything is lined up just right. Now here's how Morph works. If you can tell Morph that you have the same shapes in two different slides, then you can tell Morph to change it from one to the next. So I'm going to go over here to the slide on the left-hand side and use the Control D duplicate keyboard shortcut to make a second slide that looks exactly like the first. But now I'm going to make the changes that I want here. I'm going to scale this up, make it a little taller, and a little wider, like so. And like I said before, I don't want it to be an ellipse or a pill shape. What I want it to be is a rounded corner rectangle. So I'm grabbing the gold dot in the corner here and just sort of evening that corner out. And then I might take these people, put them up in the corner of the rectangle. And then I'll repeat this process. I will scale this up. and then take the gold dot to make it more of just a nice soft corner rounding. Maybe put the wrench up in the corner here. And one more time, make the shape bigger. And take the rounding off the corners a bit. Looks like I didn't get quite tall enough. There we go. And then put that little conversation bubble up in the corner too. And you could see where I would complete this by putting some text in here in the three different boxes. But now what I've been able to do is I've been able to set it up so that I have two slides that have the same components, but they're in different positions, they're different sizes, all over the map. 
So now watch how easy this is. I just go to slide number two, go to the transitions tab up here at the top of the screen and tell it to morph. You can see from the drop down menu here that morph is just this very first transition type. And when you click on it, you can see there that the circles become rounded corner rectangles and that the shapes move into the corners. You should definitely experiment with Morph. You know, there are some things that work really well. There are others that are still coming along. And I think as Microsoft keeps on working with this transition, it'll only get better with time. Good luck.